So a wonderful 1-0 win over Fulham in London today. And Bruno coming up with the goods towards the end of the game. In a match that we started slowly. The first half was not great from our point of view. But then we grew into it. And by the end, kind of were worthy winners, I think. Seven points now from the last nine. Three wins out of the last five games in the league. And one draw and one defeat in that time as well. Things are starting to look up for us. And that win today and the, the sort of the you know the two wins and a draw that we've got in the last week or so... That has set us up now to be in a position to hopefully qualify for some sort of European competition next season. We're currently in eighth, one point off West Ham and Manchester United. We have a game in hand on West Ham. Man United have a game in hand on us, which will be played against Liverpool tomorrow as I'm recording this. Now, that means a top six finish is still possible for us. Um, I would argue it's probably still not likely. I think seventh is there for for the taking, but there is an outside chance that we could we could get that sixth spot off Man United as well, and that could land us in the Europa League, which would be a fantastic result after the when you take into the consideration how this season's gone. I think we need some European football next season. You know, even the Europa Conference at this stage would be a good thing. The fact of the matter is unfortunately we're not going to qualify for the Champions League that was always always going to be a tough ask anyway um, this season regardless kind of emulating what we did last season was really hard along with the extra fixtures of the Champions League and the demands that 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 took on us and obviously we've then had this horrendous run with injuries and fatigue and tiredness and we've kind of lost our identity as a team and that is that's been the really disappointing part of this whole season is you know what we were famous for, what we became known for over the last two, the first uh, two seasons under Eddie Howe, uh, we just lost that identity, and uh, part of that is because you know Eddie Howe is, you know, not innocent in all this. Some of this is because of his methods and being unsustainable in the long run, I think. But then part of it is just being unlucky and and kind of, you know, sometimes teams have these seasons where they have insane injury records, and we're just. We're just in the middle of that. I mean, really, we need this season just to end and we need to start again in September, in August and just kind of really, really hope that we hit the ground running come the new season. Unfortunately, this season's still got a few games left and, you know, we have to do what we can do in that. Now, my big worry is keeping the likes of Isak and Bruno because at the end of the day, we have to get some sort of European football in order to keep those types of players around. Now, even if that's Europa Conference. I'm not saying Isak and Bruno want to be playing in the Europa, Com Europa Conference. They don't. But for me, getting some sort of European football rather than none is really important. If we get the Europa League, brilliant, because then we can really attack it next season and try and win it. And ultimately, next season's huge because we cannot have another season like this season. We can have one season like this, I think, but we can't have two. We cannot have another season where we are really scrapping and and we have finally put ourselves in a position to hopefully get some European football but even that wasn't sure and is still not sure um, for the last few months so um, we need to kind of regroup in the summer and kind of hit the ground running like I said we have to be pushing the top four that's what I mean by having a good season next season we have to be in contention for a Champions League spot in order to keep those star players because if we get to January and the season is like it is this season and we're kind of sat eighth ninth something like that I'm afraid Bruno and Isak and the likes of those players will be looking to get out and as much as that pains me to say it you know we know Bruno loves the club um I think Isak probably does as well but we know Bruno does passionately love Newcastle and the club he's not going to stick around though if the team aren't going to meet what he wants as a player I believe in my heart that Bruno would love to stay with us and you know win stuff with us and play in the Champions League and kind of all that but he's not going to stick around if we don't do that so basically it's great that we've managed to claw our way back into a position where we can hopefully get some sort of European football next season let's hope we can see it out in the rest of the season whether we get conference or Europa League for me I'd be happy with either at this point. Obviously, I'd prefer Europa League, and it'd be funny as hell if we pit Man United to that spot. The Europa Conference, again, could be something we could realistically have a good shot at winning, you know, if we get into that. So that could be fun. But it's not the ideal competition we want, clearly. And we need to strengthen and change the squad. That leads me on to, like, 
what needs to happen in the summer. We know final f financial fair play is daft. We know that we're being screwed over by it as a club. It's not fair. It's not right. And ultimately, the rules that are pl put in place are to benefit a few clubs at the top. And it is doing that because we're struggling. We are struggling to spend money, even though we've had a couple of great years in terms of results. You know, this season, um, maybe not so much, but we're still top half. And actually, just the relief of not being in a relegation fight should still be a good thing for us as a Newcastle fan. That's still a nice feeling not to be involved in that, although now our uh, sights are a little bit higher than that. We know financial fair play is stupid, but ultimately we just have to carry on doing what we can do in the system that's there. But I do believe that pressure is starting to rise on the Premier League and on financial fair play. And I just wonder if with the Everton and Forest thing, whether... You know, voices of discontent are starting to be raised. I'm hoping a club like us and maybe Villa, who have ambitions of being a top club and have the money behind them to do it, I'm hoping that we can kind of take the fight as a football club to the Premier League, in the courts maybe, and just say, look, this system is unfair. Where we've got a business we want to invest in and we're being restricted by doing that. And hopefully if that can kind of come to a head in the next couple of years, then you know, the the gloves are off really in terms of what Newcastle will be able to do and hopefully, eventually we'll get there. As it is at the moment, we, we don't have that. We can't do that at the moment because of the rules. So we have to be careful. We have to have good management. So what we need is Eddie Howe, if he still is in a job next season, because who's to say the Saudi owners might look at what's happened this season and, and have a, a view on it that, that Eddie Howe isn't the man for Newcastle. I'm not saying that at the moment. I still I still back Eddie Howe at the moment. If we're being brutally realistic about where we want to be, there is it would be daft not to think that our owners are thinking that thing, right? That they will be thinking that, even if we don't want to believe it as fans. I hope Howe stays. If he does, he has to adapt the way we play. He needs to find a new way where we can, you know, play on the counter attack or something rather than pressing. Um, something we've not really done very well anywhere over the last six months because of injuries. Um, and we just need to hope that we can kind of carry on progressing and getting back to winning ways. We've proven over the last few weeks that we can find form with, with even with a depleted squad. So, you know, the, the, there's still lots of positives there, even though we've had lots of games where we've looked a mess. <laughs> um, we'll just see. There's a lot to go at next season, um, but the result today really gives me hope that you know we can we can kick on, have a good run to finish the season, maybe finish in the top six, definitely finish in the top seven and get Europe. That's what I'm hoping. Let me know your comments in in the comments below because I'd I'd love to know what you think about this. Uh, would you be happy with Europa Conference? Would you be happy with Europa League? Do you think it would be better if we didn't get European football at all? Let me know, like I say, in the comments below, and I'll see you really soon for another video.